Hey guys, what's up? We are uh, in St. Pete. Um, if you watched my video last night, which you should have. If not, go watch it and then come back. I'll give you 10 seconds. All right. Anyways, so we are... Uh, <laughs> that was a fast 10 seconds, huh? Anyways, so we are sitting in St. Pete, getting unloaded. Then we're heading to Tampa. Got my cake batter chopstick. What day of the week is this? Dang, it's almost... It's almost Christmas. Um, doesn't feel like Christmas to me at all. Um, but anyways, so uh, so we're heading from here. We say to Tampa, then we don't know yet. Um, what else? Oh, all right. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the eight two split, and then I'm going to talk about. Well, the first time we talk about the fuel. All right. When you're fueling, if you guys don't know, if you haven't seen the video, this is the weight card. Go to Cat Scale, they're the best. Or Sap Brothers has a really good scale. You have to go to a Sap Brothers. So they're out in the Midwest. All right. First of all, don't forget to grab your Super Trucks limited edition super collectible card that end up on your floor. Or in a receiving office on a billboard somewhere. Or on a billboard somewhere. All right. So we have our scale here. Don't know how well you can see the numbers. There we go. Alright. But that was backwards. I don't even know. Alright. So our gross weight here is 78,460. Alright. So you want to estimate that fuel weighs about 8 pounds per gallon for diesel. Now I know it's technically 7 point something something something. But because we want to be. We don't want to. When it comes to weight, you never want to over underestimate. You always want to overestimate because um, you'll get burned at a you'll get burned at a scale if you uh, weigh station if you're not if you're over. So let's assume eight. So when we went through the scale here, let's assume we have half a tank. Okay, so our steer axle is twelve five sixty. Our drive axle was thirty two eight twenty. Our trailer axle was thirty three thousand eighty. 33 by the way they got, got I get got I kept getting called into the chicken coops on the way here the gross weight is 78,460 so we want to might we want to subtract 80 minus 7,800 80,000 minus 78,460 that would be 1,000 something I don't know I'm not that's too early to do math. But whatever that number is, you then divide that by eight. And that's how many gallons of fuel you can put in after what well, you have a half a tank. After that half a tank. So what I do is I take a I usually take a pen. I didn't do it on this one because I was I was full when I did this. But um just write down so you don't forget how much fuel you have right over here. You know, just put three eighths of a tank. So you you know if you go anymore. Then, if you go over, you know, you know what I mean. If you have to go over it, you know where you're at. Um, one thing that's very important to remember: if you're picking up something like me, if you're picking up something, something that you know is going to be heavy. Let's see if I can get rid of that glare there. What's causing that? Who knows? Anyways, if you know you're picking up something up heavy, something up heavy make sure that you fill up before you get there because i would rather sit and let them take stuff off of my truck than what i did when i started out and had a quarter of a tank of fuel and was at like 79.50 and could not put any more fuel in the truck i could have but you know i didn't really want to risk it especially as young as i was you know, as new to the whole thing as i was um so yeah another thing guys Remember to slide your tandems. There was a guy I would I saw at the way station yesterday. He uh, he was getting a ticket, and on the way out he was leaving, and he said, "I forgot to slide my tandems." It's like this is my third week. I forgot to slide my tandems. So you know, don't forget to slide your tandems, guys. Think about that. Think that you got to get that weight right. Um, so yeah, um, that's important. Guys, another thing, for those of you who don't know, when you are driving, you have clearances. Um, 
they teach you a little bit at Roadmaster. They don't teach you a lot at Roadmaster about clearances. You have bridge clearances. You have to be able to guesstimate, um, not guesstimate the height. Most trailers are about 13 feet high. Um, and because they're 13 feet high, you have to know going through an area if there's any gonna be, gonna be any bridges underneath 13 foot high that you can't follow on that road. Um, so that's an important thing to look for. Hey guys, sorry, I just now finished the video. I got caught up yesterday in St. Pete and my phone magically disappeared. No idea how. I could not find it for anything. Found it tonight, a night later. We're in Auburndale um, now, and we are waiting on the pick up our load tonight, 9.45, and we're headed out to Texas. Headed to Rockwall, Texas, so I'll be able to give you guys a tour of Rockwall. So that's good news. Um, so yeah, right now we're just hanging out. Uh, hung out with my sister today, did Christmas shopping, bought Fred and Sarah some stuff. And then I found this tonight. A cattle hauler play set. I don't know how well you can see it, but I'll, sh I'll show you again if you want in the light. Yes, it comes with cows. It's, it's not a Kenworth. Oh, uh, looks to be the T700. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, we will be spending Christmas Day in Texas hopefully hopefully we'll get there by Christmas um so yeah that's all that's going on here thank you guys so much for watching um I will see you guys tomorrow I'll tell I'll make one but tomorrow morning before I go to bed so I'll see you guys later thank you guys remember stay positive keep on trucking be sure to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow